Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, start the recording. Some of you, this is probably review for, um, but I know that some very new consultants are on here. We've got some other very new ones that are going to be watching this. And some of you have been around for, you know, less than a year. And um, just, I, this is a, what we call it a taste the good life or a get the more that you're looking for. But it's really just to give you guys some information of what's out there for you. And and, and really how you can maximize this pamper chip business that you have. Um, I uh, Just to give you guys a little bit of a background too, you guys, um, a lot of you have been around for a while. We've got some directors on here, which is exciting. And um, as a team, as an organization, including you guys, we have, um, we became again an executive director team about two years ago. I can't even believe it's been two years, but it's been two years ago that uh, that happened and um, and so and again we've always talked about that being a really sweet place to be there's only right now I'm gonna say under 55 uh, executive director and below teams and we are one of them hence why Judy Joel's coming up here on April 2nd how we can get the home office and we have their ear um, I just had a long conversation with Judy Joel earlier this week about some things that were happening out on the field and um, you know they're listening to us but we have a little bit more of a um, connection to them because they love that you know that we're an executive team that we have um, that we are growing and that we're moving so um, one of the things that, um, you know, and, and, and we as a director team have that goal of moving um, to the next step. Um, and, and what that means is really is that we just have more people doing more things. That's really what it's going to take for us to get there. So what I wanted to do was to sort of talk with you guys about how you guys can fit into this. Um, and what happens is not only do you fit into this picture, but it really grows um, you and your business. Um, more people are being affected, more people are being touched by this business, whether it's more hosts, more customers, and uh, more consultants, which is really exciting. Um, so what I wanted to do is, you know, we, it, and you may get off of this call and go, you know what, none of this is really for me. I just want to keep doing what I'm doing. And that's great. Um, we need, and all that we ask you to do is just to keep being the best consultant that you can be. Keep doing the same thing that you want to be doing, working towards your own personal success, what your personal goals are. That's that's really all that we that we would want to support you to do. But this is really going that next level. What's really fun with Pampered Chef, and I hope that you guys have seen this before, is that you know if you have a real job that you have to wait for somebody to say, hey you know, great job, Tiffany, um, you know, I'm going to give you a raise and I'm going to give you a promotion. You have to sit and wait. That doesn't just come knocking at the door. Um, what happens with the Pampered Chef is that you really can drive that. You can make that a goal and then you really make that happen. And everything that you do to build up to that directly affects you and your family, which is really fun. That's what, that's a, that I think that's very gratifying with this. Um, there's not really that upper line kind of thing. It's, it's really everything you do, um, it can affect you and, and, and directly affects you and your um, family. So the promotion that we're going to talk about, um, there are different levels and things, but you know, the big thing is that if you're going to build your business, the, the next step um, it is directorship. And it's a really sweet place to be in this company. And I wanted to make sure that all of you knew and were clear about those, um, those benefits of it to you and to just sort of get excited about that. Um, and so I sort of want to go through this, but then to talk about um, just, you know, how we'll, we'll, we'll sort of get into how we would support you if it was something that you were um, interested in about as well. So does anybody... Um, Let's start this, because I know that we've got some people that are, um, what are you laughing about, Jen? How? It's like cracking up on our mute. Do I have a booger? <laughs> well, Karen has to get involved because she hears stuff going on. Okay. Oh, lovely. <laughs> what about... Um, Let's do this. Let does anybody? What would you say? Does anybody here? And I would think that you guys. I know that I invited some of you to be here. Your directors invited you to be here. Is anybody really um, thinking about that? They would maybe want some more out of their business. They're happy with it, but maybe they would want a little bit more. Maybe if it's more money. 
okay, Tiffany, maybe more money would be good, more um, activity in their business. Because part of all of this too is, you know, when we start talking about even getting to directorship, all of what we start really at the basics with that, when we start the training and stuff, and that basics is bookings. You know, we start, that's where we start when we, you know, we start any of these kind of training things as well. Um, what would you, let's talk about why would you want to give yourself a, um, a promotion? Tell me this, what, what is it, and you can unmute yourself, why would you want to give yourself a promotion with this business? Just the benefits of that. The benefits of, no, and I know we're going to go over all of them, but you tell me this, what is the, because you know some of them already, what is the one that you're most excited about, Vicki? Well, I guess for me, as I'm trying to build my business is the financial piece of it. Mm -hmm. and that for me looking, I'm looking at it long-term. I've been kind of slow, but I'm really looking at the consistency of what I need to be doing in order to build up my business so that mm -hmm. I can, the biggest thing I think about is the freedom it will allow me to have. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, and, and I love that you said that I just, uh, and I think I told the directors this the other night, day that I'd seen a training that Marna Ross, I watched a video that she had done a couple weekends ago at one of the nationals um, retreats. And one of the things she said is that direct sales in general, direct sales is not a get rich quick. It's a get rich steady. You know, so you, you have to, I mean, you, you could, I mean, Karen can give you a vouch that within her first three months, when we talk about fast track director, her first three months, she became a director. Um, she did not just sit back then and just sort of lavish in the director. You know, it's a, it's a continual working thing um, that you really continue to build up. And, you know, her team has become stronger and stronger and, and her consultant skills have become more and more, you know, so it is, but it's, I think that that's a valid thing that, you know, it's, it's, it's something that just to sort of work on and, and to have those bases, because I think if you're looking at, at making yourself get to that point and doing that promotion, it's something that you sort of want to do for the long run. You know, you don't want to, this isn't just a flash in a pan kind of thing. When you're investing your time and training and stuff like that, that you, you know, you want this to sort of work. So good. Who else? Who else wants to, what's the, what's the reasons why you want to give yourself a promotion? Because Tiffany says how oh, she loves the product and would want more benefits. However, I'm enjoying paper chip more than I thought I would. Hmm. We told you you would. She's a mom of three, ages 12, 11, and nine, lots of things going on, and she loves it because she can make her own schedule. Absolutely. Good, Tiffany. <laughs> Karen's so proud. <laughs> I'm happy for Oh, I'm not muted. I could say I'm happy for her. <laughs> yeah. She loves to eat, too. That's good. Hi, Tammy. Tammy's in the car driving, as she always is. She drives everywhere, Tammy Birmingham. She does. All right. Who else? Who else has a reason why they want to give themselves a promotion? I'm looking for more consistency in my paycheck. Mm -hmm. So a more consistent schedule throughout the month, mm -hmm. a more consistent schedule so that my biweekly paychecks are steady and equal. Yeah. So, so you can count on them. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Tiffany wants a house. <laughs> Krista, have you thought of getting a promotion? Honestly, right now, I'm just trying to get myself back into my ability to even do it. I, I'm struggling. I mean, you know, I've struggled with some other yeah. things these past couple of months. And for me, I've allowed this to kind of take a back seat and I want to get back into it really yeah. like I had been. So for me, I'm just trying to push myself to get back into calling people and get back into you know, scheduling the parties. So for me, it's more of a trying to get back where I was. Type yeah. Of. And that's sort of a promotion in itself. I mean, again, that's what's nice. If you're not in it, you're not making any extra money or, you know, getting out there and building it. So, you know, just by, by getting and focusing back into it, that's. I survived the winter and the winter doldrums. So yeah, 
and now I got to get back into to making my business mean something and mm-hmm. work on Chicago and all the things to get there. So it's Good. more of a it's more of a a challenge for myself to get back into the psyche of wanting yeah. to get more. Good. One of the things um, I want to tell you guys, let's talk about, here's what I want, because I want to make sure that you guys know, some of you do know this, and some of you, and I'm going to try to use this, it's not really ever good when I'm trying to do this, but this is what we call our director slide, it's very cl- similar to our booking slide, but it'll really go through all of the different benefits that you can get, and you do get by being a director. So we'll sort of go through those. And we'll talk about, so definitely the more income thing. I think that's relatable to all of us. You know, we've talked about this before. Nobody does this just for their health. There's got to be some sort of a monetary. So um, when we talk about, here's, I want these numbers to you to know that this is really what starts adding up. When you become a director, you start getting a 3% override on your own personal team sales. So that's a, the nuts are your own sales and your own personal. So let's say you do $2,000 in a month in sales. What's 3% of that? Lori, aren't you math? You're on mute. I can't hear you. Oh, thanks. What's 3% of 2,000? Well, the calculator will beat me. $60. $60. Okay. So that's an extra $60 on that. I'll tell you though, that if you're a director, you're doing your team sales are at least 5,000. So what is um, 3% of 5,000? 150. I don't know. My husband calculator just left the room. Oh, it did. 150. So that's saying that on top of your paycheck, so on your paycheck that's an an additional 150 um on your sales you also though one of the nice things when you speak from a director is you get a ten dollar activity bonus for everybody on your team that's active so if you have um you know if you have those five consultants that you they come on and that they're all active in a month that's an extra fifty dollars right there so now we're also we're all of a sudden talking about $200 $200 more in your paycheck right there than you would not have if you weren't a, um, if you weren't a director. So, I mean, that's a, you know, I, that's almost a car payment. I know too. So just to sort of keep that in mind, you know, the monetary, it really starts growing and the more and more people that you have, the more and more people are going towards that. It's more than the 5,000 and and you really get those overrides and stuff too. So that's a a really big thing. Um, There's some exclusive rewards that Pampered Chef, can everybody read this? So you get a, um, a professional development award. You get special career title recognition. You also, when you promote, you get 250 Pampered Chef dollars right deposit in your account when you promote. That's a lot of catalogs and free products. Um, that would be enough to take you, you know, the $200 for to go to register for conference. That's right there as well. So there's a lot of exciting stuff um, that they have as well. Product, we've talked about this before, the exclusive perks. I know that a lot of people are excited about that, that we get the new products when the um, the new season comes up. I know Karen about Pete herself when that happened the first time. Um, and then also, because that happens when you promote, but then every, every season when um, the new season comes out, you get those as well. So if we earned it in the free for all, we actually end up with two different sets of them, um, which is really nice. There's also, but I'm thinking they're not doing, Jen, what did they say about new director Academy? Jen. Um, I don't know. I think, I don't know where they stopping it again. I feel like I feel like they're doing something else with it now. Like once a year, or they're doing it by phone or something. I know they're doing kind of like a lead program type thing with yeah. just directors. With the directors, yeah. 
So again, really what happens is when you become a director, Pampered Chef starts investing in you. The leads, online leads, that's back to directors now as well. So if somebody just goes to the Pampered Chef website um, and uh, just wants to order something or they want information, I know Jen Hal this past month, there was a girl that came to the meeting the day before, had just gone online, she lives in Lewiston, said, I want to become a Pampered Chef consultant. It gave her the closest director to her, which was Jen Howe, and there, Jen Howe woke up and had a new consultant. Shannon Heath, that just happened to her this week, woke up, she's like, I don't know, she lives in Wiscasset, near her and Beth, woke up. So anybody that just goes to the PamperedChef.com website without any um, information, that's a big benefit for as a director, because you get that business. And again, Pampered Chef's going to give that to a director, because they expect that you're vested somehow and you know that you have some sort of a business and that you'll take care of the customers um, and stuff which is nice as well now I wanted to sort of um, tap in on because Tiffany this is something that's valid for you but I also know that we might have a couple of the other girls that are going to be listening in about fast track director and that's an exciting thing that Pampered Chef does um, for our um, for consultants and new consultants, especially. And Karen, that happened to Karen Fuller. Um, she is probably, uh, and then Sabrina was our next um, latest one. Karen, can you just share a little bit about what happened with and how Fast Track Director goes? Yeah, there I am. Sorry, I literally just put my last kid to bed. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay, let me get back. It, within your first 90 days, um, if you add your five girls to your team or your five team members to your team in those first three months, um, and then you also hit your 5,000 in sales. So you are active with a minimum of 750. It's not 1250, right? It's 750. You as yeah. the director. Okay, yeah. a minimum of 750. And then um, the rest of your team, all five of them are active. So each of them all do at least 150 in sales. But then you plus your five do a minimum of 5,000. And that happened in my third month. Um, and it's by the end of that month. So you have those three full months of business to achieve directorship. So it's exciting. Well, it's exciting too because it's exciting to be bringing people on all at the um, you know at the same time and um, just really be starting the business with all these other people. Um, and again, Pamper Chef really rewards that, and it, and it's a great time right now when consultants are new because they've got so much excitement. And I think that happened with you, Karen. I know what happened with Sabrina. She was just like. I don't know why everybody doesn't know this, you know, that it's, it's just, you know, definitely a place to be. And you do get bonuses, which is nice. Mm -hmm. You do get $500 bonus for it happening in your, in your 90th day or within your 90th day. And then there's more bonuses available that I didn't get. Um, but the 500 for staying green or getting paid as a director for the next three months um, oh, and then you can get an additional thousand if one of your people become a director within their 90th day. So it's within six months. So that's how you would achieve the $2,000 bonus, 500, 500, and a thousand. Awesome. Yeah. What I want to show you guys too at this point is, you know, and there's a couple other things that happen um, when you become a director. Again, the company does a whole bunch of stuff because they're really excited about it. But and it's a, a but the other thing is um, that we do as a director team within our organization um, tend to have a little bit of um, fun together too. Would you think? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we sort of have fun. Yeah. We're foolish. Yeah. Just a little bit, Tiffany, just a little bit of fun. But I, you know, it, it is, it's a, it really is a fun place to be in, but we make sure because we, we um, have a great network to be able to, um, you know, to network with each other and to sort of talk out things and, you know, because we are training and, and doing that. So it is fun. We had a great retreat that um, we're going to start making annually that we did in, um, 
uh, January, we did that. You guys saw pictures that we were down in Freeport to do that. And um, we just always try to, um, you know, we do these a lot. So this is when we really get to see what train wrecks each of us are. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys and really um, show you some numbers. I'm going to share my screen um, for you in a second here. But I want to, I really want to show you how it builds up. Again, if nobody has seen this before, I want you to really see these numbers um, because I think that this is sort of fun. And this is what we're talking about. Again, the way that you become, really, if we come down to it, the way that you become a senior consultant, a team leader, which some of you are already that here on this call, but even a director, is just inviting other people to, um, to get started. Um, and we're going to talk about different training techniques and recruiting techniques and stuff like that, too. Um, because I've, we've been working with some different ideas and some different perspectives that um, are pretty interesting and, um, and they, they, they are actually working, so, um, which is amazing. So we'll, but we'll, I'll share a little bit more of that once I put my earring right in. But let me show you, um, <laughs> let me show you the, uh, I'm gonna share the screen. Let's look at the screen here and I'm gonna show you what, um, what we're looking at here for numbers. So everybody can see this. So here's the different steps when we start talking about promoting. What I love, this is not normal, and this is, I don't think this is normal with other direct sales. I know it was not normal with Pampered Chef until several years ago, because when I started, before you'd start earning anything extra, was not until you um, added two people to your team. But now what they do is, as soon as you invite somebody to start um, the business, you become actually a, a senior consultant in a month when every both of you are um, signing. I know Jenny Buck, you've had that happen. Uh, the, not the, had that happen to you, like like it's something that happened to you. But it was something that, um, it's actually, but Jenny, it, are you a senior consultant right now? Is Tina? No. Okay, but it was recently, I feel like recently she was. But you've had yeah. a, um, some people, but um, when you're a senior consultant, so let's just say these are going by this number that this girl, Jen, she makes, um, she's gonna make, she sells $1,800 in a month, that's her number. So in this month as a senior consultant, she gets Pat started, Pat just puts in 800. So Jen's commission regularly is $414. Her 1% override on both of them is $26. So that's a, over 6% more in commission. Over, that's, she's given herself a 6% raise just for, um, just for having one person start. Now, Lori Curtis, you've worked in different places. Is that a pretty good raise that you get if somebody was giving you a raise, a 6% raise? Yeah, that's that's a fairly decent race, actually. Yeah, if I remember from being years ago, back in the in the day when I used to work um, in offices, and that that was a six percent raise was a pretty good one. So this is just having one person start. You're giving yourself an over six percent raise. Okay, and if we look over here, so Jen's still doing eighteen hundred. Pat does her eight hundred, and now Chris starts, and Chris does four hundred. Okay, so that's where I gotta move you guys because you're in my way in the thing. Okay, so um, so at that sh the regular commission's four hundred fourteen, but when she gets two percent on all three of them, that's sixty dollars. Now we're talking just for having two people start. That's over fourteen percent, fourteen and a half percent raise that she got for that month. And that's a really fun place. I mean, that's, again, we're just talking about having two people get started, um, and we're looking at that kind of an increase. And then if we look down here at director, here's where, this is where you can see this. Um, Jen has her five. Those five do not need to be personal. Um, they can be with, um, you know, like Jill has Kim under her. But here's a team now. Jen still did her 1800 but she has all these people on here that are just doing, you know, just working, doing some sales. So there's her 414 commission. 3% override on the full 5,000 is the 150 plus. Remember we talked about that activity bonus? So she gets $10 for each of them. So now instead of $440 that she was making up there, she's now making $614. So that's a 48% more 
that she's making, almost 50% more is she making by being a director. And that's pretty much the number that we usually talk about is that you can make about 50% more. That's pretty normal as a, as a consultant or as a director. And you look over here, you know, if Jen, you know, that's something that we continue to train on is to, to make sure that you're a strong director. So your personal sales are probably going to go up. The same Jen that's doing 1800 and just sort of bringing somebody in now is really putting together a full schedule and is holding, you know, one to two shows a week. And so she's selling now 3,600. She's selling twice as much as she was before. So look at that commission she's going to make. She's making over $1,300 a month um, doing the same kind of thing, you know, doing the same thing she was doing before. But that's, I mean, I hope that you guys can really see what those kind of, uh, what those kind of numbers are. Um, and, uh, and, and, and why that's exciting. So let's do this. Why, what does anybody, you know, we sort of talked about this a little bit. What is it that, um, does anything that we just talked about sort of get you really excited? even more excited than, than before. Well, just, just the percentage of the raise, Anna. Mm -hmm. I know that where I work, we're, you know, I'm lucky if, if I get maybe a 2% raise, mm -hmm. you know, a year. Yeah. yeah. That's if you even approve raises for the year, working for a nonprofit agency, so. Yes. Yeah. But the way it, the way it multiplies up with each additional person under you, um, yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, good. Tiffany, stop sharing the screen. I also work for a nonprofit, and becoming a director really made a huge difference in what I've been able to do with my family. That's awesome, Christina. You know, we've talked about different testimony thing too, and I want you guys to share if there's something that you're really excited about. But you know, Shannon Heath, that's always the thing, and we truly we've talked about that. That by her becoming a director gave her the extra enough to be able to pay off some of those school loans, so that she purchased her first ever home. She always lived in an apartment, and she was able to buy the home, her dream home that she always wanted to have for her and her daughter, and her now with her grandson there and stuff too. So that's pretty exciting. I mean, that's really it. Really can make that kind of difference for somebody. That little bit of extra. I mean, I don't know how you guys are, but I mean, I know what two hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, six hundred dollars extra um, can really do for us as well. So here's one of the things, I don't have one of the, I'm looking at that I don't have one of the participant guides here, um, but one of the things that we talk about in, in a program that we as the directors on our organization are going to start for you guys to support you guys, because what, what my hope is, is that some of you are going to come off this call and say, yep, I'm in, this is my time, I want to do this, I really want to develop this, this would do this, that, and the other for my family. Um, and so for those of you that do say that, I just sort of want to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going to happen um, in the training and stuff. Because Paper Chef has a formula and it does work because we've gone through it before. And it really, again, like I said, it starts and it, 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 it starts at those basics of the business. Um, but the formula is, and you might want to write these down if you haven't um, got it already. Um, and it's really a numbers game. We've talked about this before that becoming a director, having a successful Paper Chef business, it's not. It's not um, magic, it's math. It's, it's totally a numbers game. It's being in front of enough people, talking to enough people, um, sharing enough of the products, having enough parties so that you get enough bookings to keep going and you get enough of those recruit leads. So what we're gonna talk about is um, that we're gonna start with the first part of the formula is that you would um, book eight shows in a month knowing that six are gonna hold because life happens. It seems to be happening a lot this month. <laughs> I see some faces. So we've got to maybe be creative. Maybe I'll have that for our virtual party tomorrow night. Be creative about how to fill dates that, that fall apart. But that's, that's the nature of the business. So 
So we're going to book eight shows. So we're going to talk about bookings. We're going to talk about prospecting. We're going to talk about fun stuff we can do. And again, the great thing we have right now is all the different ways to get bookings. You know, I think sometimes I think a virtual party is almost just as, um, you know, successful and, and meaningful as cooking shows. You know, you really can have, um, you know, that kind of interaction with people. So it's definitely an option there. Um, so that's the first part is that we're going to talk about bookings. The second part is um, that you would have those six shows, but that you would have an average of um, 10 people in attendance. So that your guests would be about 10 in attendance um, per party. So times six parties is how many guests are you in front of? 60. 60, thank you. So you're going to be in front of 60 people. That actually, that skill that we're going to work on is host coaching. Because that's an important thing. You know, that's, that's really a uh, skill that you need to know so that we can really get things, um, you know, make sure that your shows are meaningful, that there's a lot of people there, that it holds, that it doesn't postpone, um, that you, you've got the, uh, the excitement and stuff. So then it goes into, um, not fr from host coaching, we have 60 people. We're going to talk about how to share the business opportunity so that out of 60 that a third of them actually would just take some information home about the business opportunity. So a third of that's 20. And then a third of them, because we know this, uh, 20 people might take home the information, but maybe oh, a third of them will actually agree to talk to you, which amazes me that not everybody would want to talk to me, but only a third of them. And so that's, um, now we're down to six, ish eight six eight let's 20, see 40, 20, another 20 people well we're down to 20 so we want a third of a third of the 20 is six six, like six. six. yeah okay six point, six point something okay so let's just take it to six so a third of the so that's six a third of the 20 will want to talk which is six and then a third of them will actually sign which is two. Oh wow wow that's the number. I might teach you something else that might be a game changer. <laughs> Just, we might get into that where it might be a little bit different. But that's, this is the number. This is the number that we've always worked with. So then if you think about it, if we've got three months and you're doing two a month, that's your six. There's your, that's your three months, your 90 days to, 90 days to directorship. Okay, so that's the number. But again, when we talk about, um, you know, and, and I, and I, you might be, and I have a feeling that some of you are thinking this, that, you know, you might be thinking, say, I really want to be a part of this, but I don't have enough bookings. I don't have that kind of a show schedule to go into that. And that's something that I want to, um, if you are thinking, this is what I want, but I do not have that show schedule, uh, I want you to not uh not 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 be involved i still want you to reach out and say yeah i want to do this i want to give it a try i need some bookings i still because you i i think we can absolutely work on this and we are not going to start this training till april 3rd so we still have two weeks that's what our focus will be in the next two weeks is booking up your calendar for april so just to sort of think that we're going to, uh, you know, that's, that's what the directors and myself, that's what we're here to do is to help you guys succeed. So we want to find, you know, that's all part of this. I want to make sure that you have this extra goal thing um, as something that you can uh, strive for, and then we'll help you, we'll help you get there. So bookings would be the first thing that we would work on in the next couple of weeks is uh, to help you get your schedule up. So we, you know, this, this program that we've got coming up, it's, it's called a director bound. Um, we call it an owl training, um, which is, um, I'm not sure what that stands for. Who said that they knew what that stood for? I'm calling it an owl training all the time, but I don't even know what it, I'll find it and I'll post it for you guys what it means. Um, but we taught off a step up to director, all kinds of things. But, you know, it really is, it's a 90-day program. It's three months. There'll be calls every other week. 
um, on trainings and a little bit different. It, it might be if somebody's been through this training before, it might be a little bit different, but it's really a, one, it's, it's a program for people that are serious about moving up in the, um, in the career plan. If you're serious for doing this, because it is going to be these everyday calls, there are going to be, or every, every other month, every other week calls, there's going to be homework. Um, it is, there are certain things that will be expected. Um, because it, it's it's something that we want to make sure that you get the information, but we know if there's no accountability, then nothing ever really gets done, and then it really doesn't help anybody. Um, so want to make sure that you do feel some sort of accountability. Um, but we are going to have, again, the first call, just so you know, and if you're interested in this, you can mark off your calendars. I have not gone through for 90 days. Actually, I did and I know we're gonna hit some um, we're gonna hit some holidays so I move but for the most part it's every other Sunday evening and it'll start on Sunday the third of April. Now to I feel like there's one week like we get into Memorial Day weekend is one of them that it would be so of course we're not gonna do it on that Sunday we'd sort of budget around so um, but just so you know that's the that's the day that it'll um, that it'll go and you know we're going to talk about you're going to be doing some um tracking you're going to track your your progress throughout the um months and the weeks we talk about winners keep track winners keep score winners keep score and uh, and i have found that to be so true that when i really am watching my numbers and watching what's happening then because i can say oh yeah my attendance has been great i have this that and the other and then i start looking i'm like I guess my average attendance is like six people. That's not good. There's so many more people, um, you know, and probably I haven't, I can look back and know that I haven't been really strong with my host coaching. And that's the reason there. So, um, so we'll really, uh, we'll be talking about that. There'll also be um, coaching throughout the weeks and stuff too. We'll do what the directors and I will be doing show-based coaching, which that's fun because that's when you have your shows, we are going to try to talk to you before and after each one of the shows. Um, so we can, you know, go in with some good ideas on how maybe to talk about things or change things up. And then we'll be able to end with, um, you know, finish up. What did it, what did, uh, you know, how did it go? Who was there that you really um, would love to, to work with? We also talk about bookings at the parties too. That's sometimes part of the issue is we need to make sure you guys are booking from the parties too. So, you know, the worst case scenario that can come out of this training is that you get some really good and a, a strong business coming out of it, you know, a strong basic business. And that's what's exciting. But as a whole, as an organization, we want to offer this to you guys so that we can all move together um, and move forward. So now that I've shared all of this, what I would love um, to do is, you know, and I want you, sometimes what happens is that you come out of this and you think, you know what, I really would like to, but I really don't think I could, or I don't, you know, we, we talk about self-belief and, um, and where we, um, you know, how we really feel about it or, you know, whether we doubt that we can do it. Uh, what I love and I, and, and this is always a good quote too, is that my brain is not as smart as I think it is. The whole idea that you really, you know, they've done studies and stuff that you can train your brain to do something totally different. Um, so if it, it's something, let's say that, you know, I don't think that I can, um, you know, I just can't book any parties from my, my show. I can't book any more shows from the shows that I have that, you know, it's something that, you know, you, you, I make sure that I've got an affirmative um, statement that I'll say pretty regularly that I'm a great you know, people loved it. They just want to, they want to keep booking parties from me. They want to, they want to hang out with me. They want to have fun with me. And, and you start this, you can really turn your whole thought process around by this. So here's um, what I want you to tell you is that again, your brain will believe anything that you tell it. So sometimes you just need to turn around and, and tell it something else because I know none of you, I know I personally invited a lot of you on this call. And if, uh, I didn't believe that you could do this. I wouldn't have invited you. So if you don't have enough belief, I can tell you that I've got enough belief for both of us. So um, just to, to sort of make that leap, if it's something that you're sort of interested in, even if you're sort of concerned about that, or maybe I'm not good enough to do it, that I think that you are. And uh, we're really excited as the director team to have you sort of go on this big uh, journey with us too and, and uh, be a part of this. So so what I want to do just to finish off is um, 
I would like to um, get, I'm going to um, be stopping the recording here in a minute and I'm going to download and so we can share this then to some people. But what I want to do is to make a deadline that by Wednesday, that if you are interested in, uh, and you could do it right now, if you know right now, yeah, I'm interested, Anna, let's go, let's get started on this, and we'll start talking about bookings and stuff like that, um, or your director, you know, you talk to your director, we'll come up with some ideas, but if you're interested in being a part of this, um, we'll say by Wednesday, so other directors, just so you know, that's the deadline that we'll know when people, um, if anybody, so if you want to pass the link on, that we need to, if you want to be a part of this, just to message us and say, yep, I'm in, I want to be a part of this, um, so we can start that list and that we can um, start developing the training and, and make sure that you get on track as well. So you can message me or your director and, uh, and then we'll get started. Does anybody have any questions or thoughts? Or feelings? Tammy Birmingham, are you on this call? The poor thing, that picture's been um, frozen the whole time. I don't know if we lost her. Yes, Karen. Oh, now I gotta remember. I just found, <clears throat> I just found, found Tammy's frozen picture. Um, it's three months bi-weekly phone calls, right? Yes. 90 days? Yes. Okay, I was just being clear. Thank yeah. you. So it, when I look at my calendar, we go through April, we go through May, and then we will finish it up right at the end of June. So the thought would be is that we would have some people walking across the stage in Chicago as a director. So that's exciting. So, but just so you know that that's, that's where we are with the numbers. Okay, anybody else Any questions? No, but I just want to say I just love how you believe in us. <laughs> Well, I do. Yeah, that means, means a lot. Well, good. Well, I hope that it does. You know, and really, the uh, good Tiffany. I'm glad. Uh, really, the only thing I it, I'll tell you that um, people believed in me way before I believed in myself too. I mean, that's I mean that's something that you know through this whole. You know, I used to have Dot Dwyron telling me, even, you know, she wasn't my recruiter, but, um, you know, telling me, you know, Anna, you are rocking it. You're this, you are, this is what you are. You should be a director. This is, this is where, you know, where you need to be. Um, so, I mean, I've been there, you know, I've been there where I have not been real sure about where, um, where I could go or so, but I do, I do. I mean, I've been around enough to know what it takes and I see it in you guys. And again, that's why I invited you to be a part of this. So it's just got to make, you know, it's got to, you guys stepping outside of maybe that belief and just be willing to make the commitment because that is what it is. I mean, it, it is something that we will expect that if you're going to commit to this, that those every other Sunday calls or whatever day it is that you, you know, that you're going to do everything you can to be on them and to get everything out of it that you can, you know, and that you, you just make that effort, I think. And to do the homework and, Thank you, Wanda. So, good. Anybody else? Oh, Tiffany. That Tiffany, Karen, she's so freaking cute. All right, girls. Well, let me know what you think. Let me know if this is something that you want. If um, a couple of you have already done that, and I'm going to sort of start the list with that. But um, it, you know, if it's something you want to talk about some more, if you have some concerns, but maybe you know, maybe you want to have some sort of conversation about what you want to do with this, let me know because we can do that as well. Um, but I'm really excited to do this. We this was really exciting. The other directors can tell you, you know, Jen Ganya. I mean, it was exciting a couple of years ago to be in the, um, okay, Wanda, to be in the, <laughs> in the uh, but to be part of this, you know, that's, that's, I think what a lot of the fun of with Pampered Staff is that, again, we sort of make that excitement. We sort of, um, you know, just the adrenaline and the excitement and stuff that happened a couple years ago when we were working as a full organization doing this, 
was just uh, was just really fun. So I'm excited to do it again. I think that it helped all of our businesses just just moving together as a group. Um, you know, we talk about recruiting and stuff. I know you guys saw this, but if you were at the meeting, that our goal as an organization is recruit 300 people this year as a full organization. That was the big number. Your directors made that number. That was not me. Your directors came up with their own personal team, Jen Hal did, and I don't think there was a whole lot of wine being drank before that was done, so they can't blame it on that, um, but they came up with your own team, and I added it up, and it's 300 people for the year. I have no doubt in my mind that we cannot do that. Um, so it's just going to be, again, it's going to be exciting. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people involved and um, just a lot of excitement. So, okay. Does the diamond have to go out? It's time. Okay. That's all right. We're going to sign off. Bye guys. Thank you. Thanks, Anna. Good night.